Hawks is a D-backs ball club that is in desperate need of a spark. They've lost five straight games, 14 of 20. They're a season low, nine under 500. Can Dallas Keuchel be that spark? And this is hit hard to center. Dalton Varsho on the move. Hey, runs it down. On the ground for Perdomo. Does a nice job to get over there, makes a clean play. Two up, two down for Dallas Keuchel, and hopefully today you'll see a lot of that. Ground ball outs. Now the wind and the pitch. And Cabrera grounds it right into the glove of Keuchel, who will walk in front of the mound, and then just lob a toss to first for the out. And a good start for Keuchel in his Diamondback debut. What a thrill it must be for tonight's starting pitcher for Detroit, Bo Brisky, coming home and making his first start here at a ballpark that he grew up dreaming about playing in as a major leaguer someday. Interesting. Look at those first seven starts, his ERA, his opponent batting average, and his last four. He has really found something. And for me, it's spinning the ball and his great changeup that he's thrown. Lone infielder on the left side, 2-2. Swing and a miss. Fastball got him right by him. Here's the 2-2. Popped it up. Harold Castro drifting back. He's got it. Now the pitch. There's a ground ball hit sharply, but to the first baseman Torkelson, who will take it to the bag himself. And a 1-2-3 start to the inning for both pitchers as we are through one. That brings out Spencer Torkelson. Swings and lines on the left center field. This ball on the run. Varsho is not going to get it. It's going to get by him all the way to the 4-13 marker in deepest center field. And Spencer Torkelson will cruise into second. With a deep line drive double, Varsha went over and couldn't get it. 2-1 line drive and a base hit in the right field off the bat of Haas. Torkelson was going back to second. He'll be held at third as Smith closes in quickly from right field. If he reads that ball quickly, he might have been sent home. Runners at the corner now with back-to-back -back hits. Brings up Willie Castro. Three for five in his career against Dallas Keuchel. There's line one. drive just past a diving Perdomo. Torkelson scores. Haas is hurried. That's all the way to the wall. Haas will score. Willie Castro chugging into third. He's there with a head first slide. It is a two run triple. And the Tigers draw first blood for the third time in the series. Dare he give him one here? No, yeah, curveball. Inside, he missed. Two men aboard with one down for Riley Green. 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Perfect pitch. And has worked hard to try to strand these two runners in the third. Here go the runners. Swing and a miss. Back to that changeup. Three strikeouts in the inning for Keichel. Four in the ball game. All right, the bottom of the third inning. Carson Kelly will lead off for the Diamondbacks. Carson Kelly, fly ball. Left field. There it goes. Carson Kelly sends one out of here. And that's his first of the year. That's been a long time coming for Carson, and the Diamondbacks are on the board. There's a base hit for Pavin, and the offense perks up here against Brisky. Perdomo stops at second. Marte works a walk, second base on balls in this inning, and they are loaded for the cleanup man, Christian Walker. Fly ball, left center field. Riley Green dives and he makes another gem of a grab. Last night going to his left, today going to his right to steal extra bases away from Christian Walker. He's been incredible. Two men aboard with two down, and they turn the lineup over to Robbie Grossman. Line drive, base hit in the left off the bat of Robbie Grossman. Looking away, scope around third. Up with the ball, Peralta, throw to the plate, is offline. Scoring his scope, and over to third goes Harold Castro. Robbie Grossman delivers a big two-out hit. Tigers take a 3-2 lead here in the fourth. You're right, Dad. Big two-out hit there for Robbie. I mean, that's that's how you win games. Two-out RBI base hits. Well, it's up to Josh Rojas. Rojas in the leadoff spot. He has struck out, fly out, 0 for 2. Up the middle and throw in the center. Varsha will come in and tie the ball game. Carson Kelly heads for third and RBI single for Josh Rojas. And it's 3-3. Avon Smith will be the hitter. The run is in. They're on the corners with two outs. Pavin singled his last time up. Base hit. Carson is home. Rojas will score. Pavin Smith gives the Diamondbacks the lead. That's consecutive two-out RBI hits and it's 5-3. 
called strike three make it seven strikeouts for Dallas Keuchel. Dallas Keuchel his previous high for strikeouts in a game this year was five he'd done it twice he punched out seven and walked three and it would seem Bob has earned himself at least one more start when Delkin has the velocity that Eric Haas loves if he can get that cookie down and in that's right in his wheelhouse he can leave this yard there's a drive deep left field it's gone and the Tigers are back in front Eric Haas flexing here in Arizona that's so cool to watch but this swing puts Detroit back in front it's turning into a little bit of a slugfest they're loaded first three have reached in the fifth the 2 1 line towards left and making the catch is Grossman. Walker will tag from third and score easily. And Kelly gets the job done. Sack fly, and it ties the game at six. It's been a good day for Pavin Smith. He has single twice. He's hit for Pavin. That's his third. Here comes Rojas, and the Diamondbacks will take the lead right back. Pavin Smith, three for four. One and two on Buddy Kennedy. Lines it to right. Willie Castro is there. Here comes Marte. Close at home, but he's in there. And it's eight to six. Dalton Varsho now. Diamondbacks got two runs in the third, three in the fourth, one in the fifth, now two more in the sixth. Varsho cranks one. It's headed for the pole. Goodbye. Well, that's the big hit we've been waiting for. And the offense has come alive against the Tigers. They have come out of a collective slump and they've done it together up and down this lineup. Torkelson waiting on a 1-2. Green takes off the pitch. That's a little bit low and Riley Green will steal his first base in the major leagues. Got him. Another fastball. He threw two by him and that at bat. No way. Gets a couple of strikeouts. We stretch. It's 11. Six diamond bats. Three for four, three RBIs for Pavin Smith. Make it four hits for Pavin in four consecutive at bats. A two out single. There's four, count them. The three two. Strike three. Got him with a fastball on the outside edge. He has worked that outside with a swing back fastball beautifully this year. Melanson has not worked much at all lately. In fact, only twice over a 10 day span. So you're wondering why go to the closer here with an 11 to 6 lead. He's got to get some work in. On a line to right field and down. Clemens all the way to third. Runners at the corners for Detroit with one out here in the ninth. Miguel Cabrera, 3,054 hits. Now one behind Ricky Henderson for 27th all time. 1-1, one, one, grounded to short. Bobbled. They'll get Cabrera at second. Clemens scores. Now 11-7 Arizona and two away. And there's the strikeout on the curveball. Diamondbacks snap the five game losing streak and they beat the Tigers 11 to 7 on a big day for the D back offense. You mentioned the entire team busting out here this afternoon. Every batter in the lineup for the Diamondbacks has either scored a run or knocked in a run. So they get a win in the finale off day tomorrow before the Padres come in Tuesday night to face Zach Gallen.